guys, how you doing? In this video, I will be declaring photos. So this is a collab put together by Sunday Dawn at the Helpful Home, who also hosts Tiny Tiny Tuesday. You may know her. I know you know her, but if there's somebody new. Anyway, so um, the group has already been started, but I'm jumping in now because I need a big kick in the butt to get photos done, especially since I inherited a bunch of photos from my parents. I have had them. My dad recently died in February and we cleaned out their house, but I inherited more, but I already had a whole bunch and I just never did anything with them all these years. So I'm going to do something with them and my own. So um, on my major list of things to declutter is was paperwork. It took me seven years to do it, but I did it. Paperwork is done. I just, now I'm just maintaining. Um, I had bins and bins of paperwork because I would get so frustrated and I would just throw the stuff in the bins and try to deal with it later. And I had a couple bouts of depression in between that. And I was doing 30 bags with, and 30 days with Dee from Dee Lovely Life and Sophia from My Great Challenge. And I broke down in the middle of that and had a little breakdown and couldn't do the paperwork anymore. I had it all spread out in the library, which wasn't the library at the time, in the front room, and on folding tables, and was going to town with it, and I just like, it overwhelmed me. But anyway, a couple years later, and all of my paperwork is done. So the, next, the other things that I need to do are keepsakes, which I've been working on, and photos. So, yeah, I haven't really touched that at all. Although my sister did bring me a bag full of photos um, from my parents' house one day and I went through them real quickly and got rid of a ton because one, there was a, a chalk drawing of my parents and I've, I've never seen it. My sister never seen it. To be honest, it was kind of creepy so we threw that in the trash. And then there was a bunch of photos in there that were loose around their house. I think it was in a box. I think I did keep the box. Um, and they were nothing. Uh, I kept some, most of them I threw away. They were of pictures of trees and places they visited on their vacation, but not of them. Um, there were some pictures of them, but there was like a picture of them riding bikes from behind. <laughs> yeah, don't keep those pictures. Anyway, in this series, once a month, um, although some of the people in the club are doing it um, on the other Fridays of the month, but I have fixed it Friday, so I don't know. Maybe I do every other, I don't know. For right now, I'm gonna do it once a month because until I get my momentum going and um, we'll see what happens. So uh, for today, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'll, I did want to t tell you one little tidbit. So. Just so happened today, we got a little knock at the door and I'll tell you why it's important to go through some stuff. Anyway, <laughs> so we got a knock at the door and we have a Ford F-150 uh, truck that hasn't been used in years and hubby just hasn't, we did have an offer. We offered, uh, well, he didn't offer us enough so we didn't get rid of it and it's been sitting in the driveway not in use for years. And lo and behold, somebody came knocking at the door and uh, today and offered us $400. Yes, I'm recording, dear. <laughs> oh, it's giving me the 400 bucks <laughs> for the truck. Um, so, hubby's like, do you have, do you know where? Okay, so, um, hubby said, do you know where the, um, what's it called, title is? I said, I certainly do. I said, Mac, oh. Well, maybe I won't. I have a binder with all important papers in there, birth certificates, passports, which have expired, but they're in there because I believe you just renew that one and stuff like that. And I said, pulled it out. I'm like, here it is. It was so wonderful instead of searching for it. And so there you go. So, you know, and those, as I'm getting older, you know, I'm the one that takes care of all the paperwork something happens to me that definitely needs to be in place but I also wanted to tell you I mean I know this is about photos one other thing before I forget don't stress about some stuff like that I mean you could if you lost your title you could get a new one 
Um, actually, son could not find his birth certificate when he got here. Um, so, and I didn't happen to have a backup copy. So, it was not that, I don't know, should I be saying that? <laughs> you have to show proof, you know, um, is, so, well, you are able to get a, another birth certificate if you lose your birth certificate. It's not entirely impossible. So, you know, I want these things in place for if something were to happen to me that he won't have to do all that. But it, don't stress yourself out, out, out about that kind of stuff that there will be a way for people to find those kind of documents. It's not hu a huge thing. Anyway, but do it if you can. Anyway, so on to the photos. So I don't really, I'm really super tired. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm just feeling super tired. I was lazy all day yesterday, watched movies. And um, I I think, you know, that the body in motion stays in motion. The body <laughs> stays at rest. So, although I'm not going to be moving around a lot. And I'm not really sure exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to show you a few things. And I don't have a plan. <laughs> this is my day to figure out my plan for the... Um, the photos and where I'm going with that. I know one thing I want to do and I'll show you is that I want to um I want to start on an album, a 50 year anniversary album for Hubby and I, which is in 11 years. We did this for my parents and I'll show you that and I think that will be the easiest way for me to go through photos and just keep important ones and put them in the album. Not that I'm not going to keep anything else, but then try to pare down. I think you know, people might say, well, that's, I don't know, backwards that you should get rid of it. And then, and then, no, I'm going to make the album and then whatever doesn't fit in the album, get rid of most of the rest. I think that's just the easier way to do it. Um, I think maybe people do it the opposite way. The same with decluttering. Sometimes people do it the opposite way. Um, I, does that make any sense? Anyway, I'll shut up because I've talked long enough. And I'm going to show you my parents' album that we put together for their 50th anniversary in 2000. In 2000. No. I don't really know when it was. And it was 15 years ago. Yes. 15 years ago. Whatever that comes. 2000. Uh, something. <laughs> First thing I want to do. My craft room's a mess. And I am doing a craft room series. So, I'm supposed to have one video this Friday. Let's see if that happens. If not, there's the 400 box for the um, truck. Yay, that's done. That's decluttered. And then this, I mean, this has nothing to do with this, but this is the paperwork for my parents' house that we finally sold. So, now I can move on to another project, which is going to be photos. So, I'm just clearing a space here. I, again, I don't know what I'm doing, so maybe you can help me along the way, and everyone else. Eh, I'm excited to do this. Well, I'm excited to get it done, put it that way. So I have, a, I do have some photos organized, and I have done that over the years, bit by bit, in videos. But this is what I have. Um, I don't really have any too much stuff in albums. I started scrapbooks and never finished them. It's just not my thing. So, um, there's a whole bunch of these in my guest room, which is now, right now, son's room. He moved back when this, if you're new here, to almost two years ago, um, my adult son from San Fran, he lived in San Francisco and he moved here, back here, um, temporarily until he finds another situation. Anyway, so I don't know if I'm going to bring them in my craft room because I'm in the middle of decluttering my craft room I might be able to make space I don't know so I do have a bunch of these boxes and then there's bins in the in there too that haven't been gone through but we're not going to worry about that today I what I need to bring a chair over here and now that I'm talking about it I feel a little more energized I don't know it's just Maybe I was having anxiety about doing this. So, in a craft room video, I just threw a bunch of stuff in um, the drawers. Photos from my parents' house. Well, I think these were mine. But, 
That's my grandfather. I kind of don't like these frames. I definitely like this frame. So I'm um, I like and I like this frame. This is a picture that we had done. I want a more a better picture uh, in um of this. Maybe bigger, I don't know. In 2001. I don't remember. When what when was this? I don't recall. It was just bef just after my thyroid operation. You can see how puffy and ugh, terrible I look. So anyway, um, and my sister has since passed since then, and my mom and my dad. And then there's been many more grandchildren since then. Let's see, Kayla looks like she's four, three there. Uh, she's 15. I don't know. You guys do the math. I already said that. So uh, I guess I'm going to take... I don't need two of these. Um, this out of the frame. And this out of the frame because I want to use this in my family room. And then this is my grandfather. Grandfather, my mom's dad. Um, I had it on display at one time. And then I have all these. Uh, so that's not photos. And then I just, these are photos from my parents' house. So I'm going to take that we grabbed. I already have these pictures somewhere, I'm sure. Um, was this a picture of my parents' house, too? But I don't like this frame. I'm going to take the picture out, not keep the frame, get rid of it. Keep this picture in the frame, but I'm going to put this in my parents' album. I'm going to show you that in a second. And then the same thing for this, and this is broken. And get rid of that frame. So I don't know what all this stuff is. So this is like a temporary sorting station for photos. More stuff here. Um, I do want to do something with this. This is my mom in a wedding dress. I do have a picture of... I want a nicer frame for that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put it in this frame. That's what I'm going to do. And display it. So that's what I want to talk about too. So, you know, make ha, display some of your stuff. Sunday Dawn does a beautiful job of that. This is a graduation picture. So... I don't know if I want to put that in my fit parents album or if I want to save it for. I wonder if I have an empty box of stuff I want to put in in the 50th anniversary album. And then this is all just random oh, stuff from my mom's. She had like a bulletin board and then these were magnets she had in the fridge with um stuff. People from my cousins and stuff would... um would send her pictures and she had like a a thing in her laundry room that she hung stuff on so my cousin and so i don't know if i want to keep these or not <laughs> oh my god and here's a picture from when nick was two or three so he that was 1990 can't you tell <laughs> uh Oh, and here's a picture of when he was a baby. So these were, I guess these were all pictures of that were at my parents' house. I might send this one, I don't know, and this one to Annie and Sean, my sister's kids. These were pictures that they, that they probably already have them, though, but not this one. Maybe I'll send the frame and everything to Annie. Yeah. Uh, and my sister, oldest sister, but she got married last. I got married first, then my sister, and I'm the youngest sister, and she, Mr. Lynn, got married second. <laughs> kind of funny. And what else do I have? Oh, more stuff here to go through. I don't know how I'm going to do this. And then that's not photos. So, let me show you the album. So this is the album we got, and it came in a box, and then I threw this in there too, but I can take that out of the frame. I don't need to, to save the frame, 
And I don't know where we got this from. So I want it. I guess it's a scrapbooking album. So I'm on the look for something like this for myself. I haven't found anything that I really liked. So it took us, I don't know, about months, but a while to put this together. Um, me and my sister, Lynn, and uh, Amy helped. And my niece Amy so anyway so we started from when they were born and I we have their date and a few old pictures that we managed to round up of them and then of my father and we didn't put everything in here but you know it just went along this is my mom and her brothers and sisters and my dad and her parents and my dad and her um his brothers and sisters and his mom and dad you know, we didn't need to do several pages of it, just one. And then a, one, another one with them a little bit older. And then a little bit before they got married. And then, of course, their wedding. And then, then it went to, okay, so this is my, why is, where is my sister Kim? Why is that missing? <laughs> How do we do that? There should be a, a page with Kim in it. How did that even happen? Oopsie. Oh, fix that. I don't even know we noticed that was missing. So this is their honeymoon. They honeymooned in um, uh, the falls. Niagara Falls. Oh, my gosh. So, this is my sister. Oh, okay. They did Kim and, and Lynn on the same page. There's Kim. And then my sister, Lynn. And uh, my sister, Kim, passed of cancer in, I don't know, 2017. And then me. Aren't I cute? <laughs> and then my brother. And then just pictures of us when we were little. And then... Definitely 1970s. I'm sorry, it's glaring, but and then as we get older, uh, school pictures, graduate. We put all the graduation pictures on one page. I only have one child, so it ain't gonna be like that. But I'm gonna try to not do too many pages. So the reason I want to do this is so son will have something after we go, and for me too. Um, you know, a snippet of all the snippets of our lives, important times in our lives. And then he won't have to go through all of the other photos if I don't get rid of him before then. And he can just take this album and go. And yeah, that'll be it. You know, not this album, but um, uh, I don't know that he wants this. I might go ahead and give this to Amy at some point. So, and then we did, um, yeah, my parents as, they're, as they got older and then all of the houses that they were in. So I want to do that too. I want to take, get a picture of all the houses um, that we lived in. And then my dad's side of the family, cousins and stuff. and Or their nieces and nephews and stuff, I think. And then this is the Krantz family, my mom's side of the family. Um, all the cousins... And just on and on through the through the years, 1970 something. This is going into the 80s, and then we did a page of my sister, my two sisters' wedding, and then my wedding. Uh, and then all of the grandchildren, which there is 17 grandchildren. I think there is a couple missing in here no not grandchildren great grandchildren i don't think we say we did this before there was no we didn't this is the great grandchildren i'm wrong this is no i'm so confused this is the grandchildren i don't we there is no great grandchildren is there yes <laughs> There's great. This is the great children. I don't think we got to the great grandchildren. My parents' great grandchildren. So there's um. There's just seven, seven grandchildren. My parents had seven grandchildren and seventeen great grandchildren. All my sisters. I have none. I don't think I will be having any. And then when the grand, 
the my parents' grandchildren got married. I really like that one. My then the mom of the littles. And I'm probably sharing way too much in this video. It's going to be way too long. And then they had some friends for life. They've had them since they were very young. And yeah, that they always went on vacation with. And they had two two uh, sets of friends that they all went on vacation together. And cruises and all kinds of stuff. How nice is it that to have friends like that? So the one couple passed away. But the uh, other couple... Um, here they came to my dad's um service so that was nice i forget where they live all right and so then when we had a we had a party it was a crazy story so we when we were having a, gonna have a party actually my parents were going to renew their vows but right in the middle of the planning for that my mom's brother died so they went up there instead. Well, then sister and I and the two nieces drove up to Connecticut. That was in Connecticut. And because um, my my cousin, Val, ended up throwing them a 50th anniversary party. And we're like, well, we're not going to not be there. So we brought the album with us. It was finished. And it was a big hit. Anyway, and then we put some pages in here for everybody to sign at the... Um, uh, anniversary party and um to write their stuff so i have a thing in in the back here where i'm just gonna ho go ahead and shove some of the pictures take them out of the um frames and whatnot and um all right let me do that probably off camera i don't need to show you that all right so i went and took all, all the pictures out of the frames and some of these i might use for my album uh, whenever I get around to it. So, for now, I don't have a place for them. I'm just going to leave them in the, the bottom of this box. And go through. These were my mom's pictures, like I said. That were in their house. Most of these were hanging on the fridge. I don't need that. That's a picture of my... Great-grandmother... Great, great grandmother's great. Yeah, I don't, I don't need that. Uh, I don't know. And then all these. Uh, what am I going to do with all that? I don't even, who is that? I don't even know who that person is. I think it's somebody they they went to church with before I throw it away I have to ask my sister and that's a horrible picture all right that 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 can go why would I keep that my sister and um her daughter kind of like that picture and that's not that I don't need that either. It's not a very good picture. See, I don't, I don't need that either. I believe this is at a funeral. I you can't even see that person. You don't need that. Kayla, I think so. Pictures of Michaela. I don't, I don't need that. That was another family picture. Who, who, what? My dad must have took that. That's my grandmother. I don't, I don't. Grandmother's grave. Who is that? Well, I don't know about that. My cousins. I don't. I don't know what to keep here. Some of these things. I think I these magnets and stuff. I just need to keep 
like a few and get rid of the rest. Yeah. Mm. See, these two, I'm thinking, this was in my mom and dad's house. Maybe Annie, my niece, would like them, knowing they were in my mom and dad's house. I'll send them to her. All right, get in there. I think this is all I'm going to keep of the magnets. I don't need all. I didn't put magnets on the refrigerator, but I thought those were cute. I'm keeping all those pictures. All this stuff is throw away. I got just a little bit more to do. And then this had a picture, a random picture in it, of my cousin and her son. It was supposed to be, they must have got it for their 50th anniversary, and they never put something in it. So I'll either use it for me, or put some, a picture of mom and dad in that. And then there's a ton of these. I guess I'll, I'll put them in the box bag and donate that. Uh, I don't like putting stuff on the, um, this is my cousin's daughter. Uh on the refrigerator like that. I don't I just don't do that. I think back in the day I did when my son was little. So going through the rest of this. this looks like cards and stuff my mom saved. Alright, I think I'm done for today. I I might bundle all that up. I still didn't do anything with all this stuff from the craft room from the last time I decluttered two weeks ago. Anyway, <laughs> that's for a whole nother video. Uh so this is the pile of stuff. That I guess I'm keeping. I'm going to put it, the box back together. This is all that's left in this drawer. And that's garbage here. And then that's donate. So I think that's. Uh, I think that's a good start. Ugh. Is it? <laughs> this is my stuff. So I just wanted to concentrate on the stuff that. Um goes down here that sister brought to me so I need to fix this a little bit better and find a space for it or give it I might give it to my sister and um she can display it in her house because she had asked for that other picture that I have and one one year my mom took her wedding dress and cut it up and you see that little thing at the top there that's my mom's wedding dress and she put some potpourri in it and gave it to each one of us girls to have. Um, I don't know what made her do that, but that's what she did. I mean, what were we going to do with the wedding dress, right? So, uh, yeah. And I have to see if I can find a new box for this because that is, is falling apart. I don't even know if that came in a box. Anyway, so... All right, so that's it for Photo Fridays with Friends. So make sure you check out the playlist to get some inspiration. It, let me know, are you working on decluttering your um, photos? What are you working on? You, do you still have paperwork to do? What do you, <laughs> but this is about photos. So um, we're gonna just keep it at that. Decluttering everything else we'll talk about in my, um, I don't know if I'm going to do that this Sunday though. We'll see. And my declutter my craft room. Um, and I didn't want to do the photos in the craft room. For one, there's photos throughout the whole house. So that just happened to be photos that are in here. Oh, let me show you a few things. I did show them another video. So, but I just want to reiterate a little bit. I'll just show, um, what's in this room. But anyway, I showed this. So, uh, it's really the only keepsake I have of my great. I think I said in the previous video, my grandma, she is in the picture. It's both my grandma and my great grandma. Um, but the handkerchief is from my great grandma, and I it was in a drawer in my jewelry cabinet. I'm like, well, I put it in a frame and put a picture of her. So I happen to have that picture of her. And the little girl to the right is me. And my sister Kim's in the middle. My sister Lynn is on the side. So that's what I did. And then, then I have stuff like this too. This is my son's whoopee. <laughs> it was his best friend when he was, until he was five years old and said, you can't take that to kindergarten, bud. <laughs> and it is well worn. And he, he carried it around on his hand with his thumb in his mouth. 
and then I have a picture of him when he was little above it. So that's another keepsake. And then I already showed this in another video. And this is kind of a work in progress a little bit. So um, this is just a dedication to my sister who passed of cancer in 2007. This is from her wedding. And then there's Nick and Amy, my niece who is like a daughter to me. And then I have some random photos of um, my mom, I believe, in this one. That I should go through. Oh, this too. She made these for the kids one time. It's a boo-boo bunny. Have you ever seen that? You put a piece of ice in there, and then that put goes on their boo-boo. <laughs> so that's like some kind of a memento. Maybe I'll put the magnets that um, I just saved here. And then this one has random pictures of my sister in it. And this is the headband, headband that we wore in the wedding. So that's in there. I don't have the dress anymore. It was so freaking ugly. Love you, sis. But <laughs> it's pretty bad. It was like curtain material. Anyway. All right. And I don't have a picture of this, but maybe I, if I can come across a picture of my dad doing some leather stuff, but this is a de dedication to my dad. This, this thing here is bracelets that he made out of leather. And then this purse he made, he made a whole bunch of stuff, but that's all that we have left of the stuff that he made. Um, that purse was his, he made for his mother. <laughs> Probably 19, I don't know. What, did he make it when he was younger? I think he made it when he was older. I think he didn't start leather until he was married. So it was probably 1970-something that he did that. All right, guys. Until next time, enjoy your day. Okay, guys. Don't forget to check out the playlist. I put the link down in the description and in the end screen here so you can get some more inspiration to declutter and organize your photos. Until next time, guys. Enjoy your day.